Hi guys, in today's video I want to answer on the most common question I receive on Instagram almost every day. Is it necessary to add a motion blur on a speed ramp and which do you recommend to use? Yes, you should always use motion blur on your speed ramps. This makes your video look 10 times better and smoother. I always use RSMB Pro. It's a paid plugin and the results are always great. I can't recommend it until you go and get it and it is the best motion blur, but I can only say that it will give you smooth and great motion blur. So let me show you this video without motion blur and then I will show you with RSMB Pro. Also you have to be careful with the settings of RSMB and in today's video I will show you how I use it and why you should be careful. And now let's apply motion blur on that clip. The free version is this one, CC Force Motion Blur. It doesn't need too much of changes, all you have to do is, slightly increase motion blur samples and that's it. Let's apply RSMB Pro now, the one I like so much. As you see the motion blur is applied in a background and it looks fine, but not too good. Let me show you before and after RSMB Pro and then I will make some changes for a better results. This is before. And this is after. Looks fantastic and now let's toggle on use GPU. I will bump up sensitivity to 100. And now if you look closely, the edge of this car is not too clean, it looks a bit messed up, so let's decrease blur amount just a little bit. I think 0 0.40 will look fine. Note, even if you won't decrease it, nobody is going to notice it except you, but if you edit, make sure to edit from your heart. That clip looks fine to me, but now I can just copy and paste it on my another clip and let's see if it will look good on my second video. Looks fine, but I will increase blurriness maybe till 0.60. Looks good. Let's paste RSMB on the next video. This looks fine to me and now let's paste on another one. Here I think we can bump up till 60 or maybe more, but not too much. Let me show you what happens if you bump up blurriness just too much. Let's set it to 2, and as you see the clip looks so weird and it's all messed up, that's what I meant when I said that you have to be careful whenever you apply RSMB Pro on your video. Do not overuse it, make slight changes to achieve the smoothest motion blur. On this video 0.7 or 0.6 will look fine. And now let's check what it looks like when you apply a motion blur. I hope you see the results through the screen, and I hope I have answered on your questions clearly. And let me show you what I would use if there was no RSMB in existence. I would use Pixel Motion Blur, I like how smooth it is and it's all free and built in motion blur effect in After Effects, I would use this one all the time and I prefer Pixel Motion Blur over the CC Force Motion Blur. Let's bump up shutter angle to 300, look how smooth and clean the background is, I like it. Also there are too many editors that enjoy CC Force Motion Blur and there is nothing wrong with it, if you enjoy it, you can use it. Always use Motion Blur, doesn't matter matter which you will use, simply find your favorite one and always use it. If you are new on AM Film and don't know anything about my giveaways, then DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. I promise you will be happy with my message. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.